I'm Hena Osman from Beacon House Defense Campus with another video of science for grade 8 students on the topic of chemical reactions as a part of Beacon House Schooling Uninterrupted Online Platform. In this lesson, we will learn about physical and chemical changes, chemical reactions and their representations, and also about different types of reactions. Let's start the lesson by watching a video. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about physical and chemical changes. Physical changes are changes in appearance only. A new substance is not created, and chemical bonds are not formed or broken. For example, take this stack of paper and wadding it up into smaller pieces is a physical change. It still has the same properties as the original paper. Cutting someone's hair is a physical change because the hair has the same properties as the original hair. Phase changes are physical changes. When ice goes from a solid to a liquid to a gas and then back, those are physical changes. Most mixtures are physical changes. For example, mixing salt and water together is a physical change because the salt and water can be separated out later. Chemical changes, on the other hand, create a new substance. It involves breaking or making chemical bonds between atoms. Chemical changes leave behind clues or indicators. Here are five indicators of a chemical change. fire, you have a chemical change. Second, a temperature change without heating or cooling is an indicator of a chemical change. Third, an explosion is an indicator of a chemical change. And they're pretty fun. A change in color is a chemical change. A change in odor can be a clue that a chemical change has occurred. And any time when you mix items and you see bubbles or it fizzes, you have a chemical change. Thanks for watching. The differences between physical changes and chemical changes are summarized here. Now let's start the main topic that is chemical reactions. To represent chemical reactions in chemistry, we use equations. In grade 8, we will use word equations. A word equation consists of reactant or reactants and product or products. The reactants always appear on the left-hand side of the equation and products on the right-hand side of the equations, and both the sides are joined by an arrow. In every chemical reaction, law of conservation of mass applies, which states that mass is neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. If we account for all reactants and products in a chemical reaction, the total mass will be the same at any point in time in any closed system. There are four types of chemical reactions. First one is synthesis or combination. It is a reaction where two or more elements or combi compounds combine together to form a single compound. These are mostly exothermic reactions. Examples include formation of water from hydrogen and oxygen and reaction of iron and sulfur. The next are the decomposition reactions. It is a type of chemical reaction in which one reactant yields two or more products. They are usually endothermic reactions. The difference between exothermic and endothermic reactions are exothermic reactions are those reactions which releases energy through light or heat. 
whereas endothermic reactions absorbs energy from surroundings usually in the form of heat example of decomposition reaction include decomposition of copper carbonate and decomposition of calcium carbonate you can clearly see that both reactions need heat energy the next type is combustion reaction a combustion reaction is a reaction in which a substance reacts with oxygen gas releasing energy in the form of light and heat the basic component in combustion reaction is oxygen and they are basically exothermic reaction examples include burning of fuels and respiration process you can clearly see in this picture that both the reactions are producing carbon dioxide and water along with the release of energy the last type of reactions are replacement reactions also known as displacement reactions it is a reaction in which elements switch places in compounds generally more reactive elements replaces replaces less reactive elements the types include single replacement reaction and double replacement reaction in single replacement reactions one element replaces another element in a compound these reactions can be represented as below examples include the reaction of iron with copper sulfate if we dip an iron nail in copper sulfate solution iron will replace copper in the solution and copper will get deposited on the nail the last type is double replacement reactions it is a type of chemical reaction where two compounds react and the positive ions and the negative ions of the two reactants switch places like this example include neutralization reaction neutralization reaction is a reaction in which acid react with an alkali to produce water and salt with this we come to the end of the lesson now coming to your assignment part you have to do all these questions again either in your notebooks or in a in document form and upload your work in your google classroom I hope you'd like the lesson. Thank you.